In the late 1980s, Soviets were looking for a new air-launched cruise missile to replace KH-55. The new missile started life as the KH-90. Its development commenced in the late 1980. However, after few flight tests the program was suspended. A new KH-101 program was launched, which called for a development for a stealthy air-launched cruise missile, which would be carried by strategic bombers. The KH-101 made its first flight in 1998. Evaluation trials started in 2000. First pictures of this missile appeared in 2007. This missile was adopted and is currently used by the Russian Air Force. At the time of its introduction, it was Russia's most capable air-launched non-nuclear missile. The KH-101 is a long-range standoff weapon. It is carried and launched by bomber aircraft. The KH-101 is armed with conventional warhead and has a range of 3,000 kilometers. This cruise missile is equipped with an electro-optical system for correcting the flight trajectory and with a TV guidance system for terminal guidance. The KH-101 is one of Russia's most capable air-launched cruise missiles. In a recent briefing by the Ukrainian military's media center, a representative of the research center, Colonel Mykola Daniliuk, revealed some of the new technologies found inside the KH-101s, shot down by Ukrainian air defense. The modernized Tu-160M and Tu-95MSM strategic bombers carry the KH-101. It is armed with a conventional warhead weighing between 400 to 450 kilograms. The warhead types include high explosive, penetration high explosive, and submunitions warhead. There is also a nuclear-armed variant called the KH-102, which can carry a 20-kiloton thermonuclear warhead. It is the Russian Aerospace Force's main air-launched nuclear-armed cruise missile. Ukraine's latest claims confirm speculations. The images of the fallen KH-101 in the Vinitsha region that surfaced in late January revealed the presence of a camera behind what appeared to be a circular window. This camera was speculated to be a part of the Oplusk guidance system, 
In his recent briefing, Colonel Daniliu claimed that the camera found in down KH-101 missiles is a new one with three fixed lenses that observe the surface at different angles. In contrast, the old camera had one swivel lens. Apart from that, Daniliuk said, the upgraded KH-101 had a change in its guidance system, which makes it similar to the American DSMAC used in certain versions of the Tomahawk which uses an internal database of relevant terrain imagery to help guide the weapon toward its targets. He further said that this system could work simultaneously with Turkum, which compares the radio altimeter data to the reference terrain data. However, as discussed earlier by Eurasian Times, there is nothing new in this. The KH-101 is known to have both of these guidance systems. Daniliuk further talked about the changes in the missile's Badget 6204 type electronic computing machine, saying that this component of the KH-101 cruise missile is direct evidence of the dependence of the Russian military industrial complex on foreign components. He claimed that Russia has switched to new chips made by another manufacturer as there was a difference in the size of the microcircuits used in the latest missiles and those used in older iterations of the missile. Daniliuk's briefing also clarified a section of the intact KH-101's wreckage found in Venetia, which had a dozen circular holes in two symmetrical rows of six each filled with mud. These holes were speculated to have been intended for dispensing countermeasures like the radar confusing chaff to confuse hostile air defense radars. A simple and crude radar warning receiver could automatically trigger their employment after detecting pre-programmed radio frequency emissions under certain circumstances. They could also be pre-programmed to fire at specific points of vulnerability along the missile's flight route. The holes found on the KH-101's wreckage resemble the countermeasures dispensers. The holes are used to fire radio flares automatically after the cruise missile detects radar activity. He adding, 